Okay, this video is going to be for explaining uh, two problems that we did in class about a uh, VHS tape and calculating um, the angular speed and uh, total time to pass through for this tape. Okay, so we've got here uh, a reel on the left that's full of tape at the beginning here, right? Right, we've got the tape that goes around and around and around like this. It goes through the front and then around like this at the beginning, okay? And as the tape starts, uh, this full reel has a 45 millimeter outer radius and a 12 millimeter inner radius, okay? And so that, at this moment, the empty reel turns clockwise. So this reel turns clockwise with a period of 2.2 seconds. And the first question is, what is the angular speed of the full reel? So um, we want to know omega of the full reel, okay? So um, firstly, why isn't that angular speed the same for these two reels, right? It's because what's happening here is the tape on the right is rolling around this first wheel, right? And then as it does so, it pulls linearly on the left wheel, right? So if we think about, I'm gonna draw this from the top down here, got the tape here, right? And so the linear speed at which the tape is going through on the right side has to be the same as on the left side. So this linear speed here is the same as this linear speed here, okay? And so we want to figure out what is the angular speed that allows these two linear speeds to be the same. So let's think about the, the empty real first. So that omega is 2 pi over t, and the t is given, okay? Um, and that v is omega r. Okay. Now, on the left, well, let's actually get these numbers. We'll call this one side one and this one side two. Okay. A real one and real two. Um, so this is V1, R1. So then we've got V2 is omega 2, R2. Um, but V1 equals V2, right? The velocity is the same everywhere. So omega 1, R1 is omega 2, R2, and omega 2 is omega 1 R1 over R2, which is 2 pi R1 over T R2. And so if we plug in numbers here, we get 2 pi times R, uh, R1, which if we scroll back up, that was 12 millimeters. RT, which is 2.2 seconds and our R2, which was 45 millimeters. Notice I don't really need to bother changing the units uh, of millimeters here because they're both gonna cancel out, all right? So I've just got two pi times 12 over 2.2 times 45, which is 0.75 uh, radians per second. Okay. And um, this is clockwise because if you look at the way this picture has to turn, this needs to turn here. Let me do this in another color to highlight it. So we've got, oh, that didn't work. Uh, this has to turn clockwise since this is turning clockwise, right? Because this is the direction that the tape is pulling. Okay, so they're both turning clockwise. So that's the first part of this question. And then the second part of this question, if we scroll back up, was how long is the movie, okay? And we know that the length is 246 meters. So here, the total length of the reel is 246 meters. And as we talked about in class, that needs to go through at a steady speed, right? A steady linear speed. Because what's actually happening is that up here at this part of the tape, there's uh, a reader that's 
you know, reading this part of the tape and projecting it to your TV. And so the tape should go through there at a steady speed the whole time. If it doesn't, then your movie's gonna look really weird. Right? So it's gonna be constant. And we already found that V. And so the total time is going to be the total length of the tape divided by the speed at which that tape goes through. And so that is 246 meters over omega one R1. So that's 246 meters over, we didn't actually, actually let's use omega two R2 since we already found omega two. So that's 0.75 times R2, which is 45 times 10 to the minus third meters. And I forgot to put my units of my omega. Point seven five radians per second. Okay. Uh, and so that is going to give us a total duration that is, let's give it to you in seconds before we convert it to hours to make sure the conversion is closer. 246 divided by 0.75 divided by 45 and 3 is 7,300 seconds, which is about two hours. All right. Okay. That's the end of this video.